Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode in our Mega Let's Play series. This is no longer Ghana, it is now the Mali playthrough as I created the Kingdom of Mali, which is actually more the Sultanate of Mali. And that is what I shall refer to because we are a Muslim ruler here in Africa. Just to remind everyone, we are going to take this, hopefully, fingers crossed, all the way through in conversions from Crusader Kings 2 to Europa Universalis 4 to Victoria 2, and then on to, yes, Hearts of Iron 4. So hopefully the save doesn't get corrupted at any point in that time, and uh, that I have enough time in between to, to fix the... Um, to fix the the conversions as I know it's going to happen so but that's a long ways off probably a long way off this will take a very long time but I am committed to it it is always going to be the backdrop let's play that is out there so with no further ado we are going to attack Zarma because uh, quite frankly they have it coming so ta -da, everyone's happy with that gonna call in my allies yes raise Gal still an issue as we are not feudal yet, and so is uh, Tad Mecca. So we get no one from that. Oh yeah, that's right. Are you really going to come to war with me? You got to come all the way down here. All right, I'd like to see you try. Wally Fuluku is no longer spy master, and I don't have very good options for spy master. Barama. Brahma is actually, yeah, that's actually very good. Court poet. Um, what is a court, court poet for? Uh, sometimes push limits what is acceptable under Islam. Well, we can make Yasaboy that. that. That shouldn't be too bad. Make him commander, hopefully get him to die. And once we get everyone here, ooh, we don't have that much gold. Damn it! Let it go. Damn. Just when I. What do you have here? You have an artisan workshop when you are having horrible, horrible taxes. Can they even raise anybody? It does not look like it, so this should be swift and powerful. Thrust. Learn Jewish man has appeared? Cool. Daughter was born named Namis. Actually gonna drop these guys. And all to reduce costs. You will put Yas Boy here. Come on. There you go. Maybe he'll die of like dysentery. I don't know why he hates me so, but he does. Ooh. Wow. Hope he doesn't mind being uh, one of the swords of Islam here, being a Jewish man, but that's some damn good um, numbers. Are those, are those Christians? Are we of Kiste? I don't think so. Should not take long. Just have to tear down a break into a fort, really. The Hizya Tax. No, I know it's the wrong holder type. I don't think I can swear fealty now. Oh, he's the masked man. No, he doesn't because I don't know. He doesn't like me enough, I guess. Is this the same guy? No, it is Abu Bakar. Why didn't you like me? Clearly, I need to stop trying to do that and uh, boost up, excuse me, my popularity again. Oh, there we go for that. Oh, there they are. I finally came. What's he going to do? Well, I mean, Gal is pretty undefended. Uh, just attack it now. There we go. Bing. Oh. Yes. 
Now the problem is though that he's still my vassal. And he's probably a powerful one at that. He is, and he's an excellent spy master. Thankfully he's almost dead. So I'm just going to ignore him for now. But there it is, Molly fully formed. His died's coming to his severe injuries. Well, it's a good thing I am up there. Although if this goes to civil war, which it may not. Although if it did go to civil war, I'm taking that. I have no relation with Abu Bakr the third. Though he is a brilliant tech strategist. Alliance and non-aggression pact between Buyukana Kinbazuwa and Yashi Zirid has been dissolved as they no longer have any marriage ties. You just need to die, old man. Do I have anyone for this guy to marry? Demzi? Oh, interesting. He's 27. I don't really. Wow, he'd say yes to... No, she has claims. I'd rather give him to that one. Good luck trying to have kids. And my sister to Sheikh Abu Razak. Yes. Why is Zarma? Daughter was born to my uncle. Amanata. Oh, and Barakisa. They had daughters. They had twins. Wali Diari is no longer an advisor. Fine, you can be an advisor. And of course he's a malcontent. That shouldn't cause too much issues, right? I could grant him a landed title, although I don't really feel like it. Nothing over here to boost up. Your wife, Thashim, has asked you to consider her position of steward on your council. While you are sure she would be up to the tasks, it would be an unconventional choice, if not an outright skinless one. Your vassals would not be happy. Um, I do love my wife. I am lustful for her. She is both gregarious, ambitious, charitable, and temperate. If I had a roll, I'd roll it, but I don't, so we're just going to go with that. And then Farine would come on. I'll make him okay by uh, whenever this uh, guy from Zarma dies, I'll make him the, uh, the uh, advisor. I don't have to settle on you, buddy. That's that's good. All right, so can't change another law to eleven twelve. All right, so I can't become feudal. Let's go over this again. Do do do. I think it's in here under intrigue. Can't find a merchant republic though. I don't have a port. That's the problem. Could hear some sneaking around inside and believed it to be a burglar. When I went downstairs, I discovered Tekhaya opening one of my letters. I'll teach her to be less nosy. She could use some practice reading. No. After talking to the Tech Hay, she seems to understand the concept of privacy better. It is a step in the right direction. But apparently now I'm cruel. I don't know why that's cruel to uh, scold someone. Here's my son. Should make him know about duty. 
and and yes boy seeks to kill him good thing I didn't close that one out yeah your scheming was misdirected you d-bag yeah I don't have a port oh loyal servants such as I deserve some recognition and rewards from some time from time to time it is widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles and are as generous as you are wise. Perhaps you consider granting the humble servant the sheikdom of Tadmecca. But you're all the way down here in Gurma. I'd rather give you... in exchange for a favor. But... Hmm. This I can live without. And the reason for that is that um, he's of the wrong holder type too, so he can't develop it. And now this breaks the, the Duchy of Mali into, uh, I'm sorry, the Emirate of Songhai. It breaks it into three different landholders, each who have different um, different things. So when, when this guy dies, it's going to go to his son, and I, and I have to do everything I can so that they don't... They don't war over it, or I'd have to enforce realm peace, something of that nature. But here I just I keep it fragmented, and I keep the majority of my land. I wish you would gone. I could have given them like bambook or something like that. No war up here, surprisingly. He's a brawny man. His sympathy for Christendom. Interesting. Leader of a plot. Ooh, what plot? Eh, that's all right. But I am content. Why would I have any reason to be? You know, that doesn't affect me. I'm still waiting for this. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anyways, back to feudalism. I need absolute tribal organization. I need a. Well, I don't have a stone hill for it. So I need to move my capital out of Gao. I think. No. No, I don't. It has a stone hill for it because it's literally a castle. Tax income goes up. Uh, why don't we build up the walls? Okay, so we got that, Timbuktu, and... Uh, oh! Wali Diara has died. Upgrade that to a reinforced hill fort. What do we have here? Mercenary band. We go up to a training grounds. Actually, I can do this in a bunch of places. Uh, weaponsmith. What is going on with this? Mer oh, we are maintaining a mercenary band. Okay, I gotcha. Practice range. Now, oh, war camp. Oh, good. And Molly. Molly's been kind of forgotten here. Uh, no, I didn't want... Damn it. Tashim is pregnant once again. Well, they have a stone hill fort all the way out here in Bambuk. Bintao, my daughter. Well, Faith will be all right. Yeah, I didn't get to choose her guardian. You know, what I haven't done either is to, uh, what these off? She has a bad cough. Sometimes painful ailment. Oh, boo-hoo. Sheik of Alcantara. Good. Benghazi. Better. Prince of Africa, though. It is my cousin. Well, we keep on intermarrying. I don't know what's going on here. Some weird pictures. Unless they have a shaved head. Anyways, they're out in the Middle East, probably.
Yeah, Abdul Hakam. All right, he needs to wed Princess of Africa, a cousin. Don't want him. That's five years older. Who are Princess of Morentia? Let's see how that goes. Maybe one of those Morentians ties to to the Sultanate above us. Ah, Sogolon is pregnant. Somehow. She's pretty old. Yeah, 40. Wow. Mother's still going strong as a princess. She's in the Zirid Sultanate. Is this her son? No. I can take secondary wives. Why can't I take secondary wives? So you can't have concubines, but you can have secondary wives. Interesting. Oh, Timbuktu's not doing anything. Farin, be you? Oh, good. Well, I told you he would pass away soon. Well, I wonder if I should have gone with the market city on that one. Yep, so we'll make Tib here. Yeah, that'll be all right. Tib needs to be on here because of his having more land than Nita Nissi. Another son to Koi. That's it. Okay. Make him thrift. What is she? She is Andalusian. Okay, I was like, why? Well, he's pretty, pretty pale-skinned there. Oh, a lot of finish. Daughter was born now. Nam Namandeji. <laughs> I can say this. Namanje. There we go. All right. Uh, I do have enough for reinforced till 40, even though I don't think I'll do it. I want to save. I'm going to get some good money in. Do I have 6.3 coming in? That's pretty damn good. Got a concubine. That's okay. Castle walls built in Gao. Um, uh, should we wait? Uh, I don't know. It's free warriors from the Huron cast come armed with bows and poisoned arrows. Ooh, that sounds like something fun. Tending to... Oh no, she died taking a crap. Or from menstruation. You don't know. Well, that's sad. Does this guy have a, uh, I doubt, I doubt it, and they do not. Well, I guess we'll take Ina. Don't have a lot of concubines, I'll have a lot of women in my, in my court. Observe Ramadan? Yeah. I lose, lost 100 gold. Okay. Month of Ramadan is upon us. I mean, it is good to do. I didn't realize that I'd lose 100 gold. Amir Ramadan approaches. Yep, send out the invitations. Ah, damn you. Eid Mubarak. Food was exceptional, entertainment magnificent, and a great time was had by all. Your guests seem suitably impressed by your wealth and generosity. To celebrate Eid ul Fatir, perhaps you should present a gift to your beloved wife. Of course, I will give by her a golden necklace. Your fast and observance of the Holy Month of Ramadan has ended. Till next year. 
All right, so maybe I let's select a school here. Uh, Mutazila, a sunny school of theology that emphasizes rationality, reason, and free will. This will benefit your research members. The opposing Ashari school will disapprove. So the Ashari or the Ashari school, school of the tradition of revelation and occasionalism. I like to think that I'm going here with the this one, so we'll adopt this. That the Quran was created and is not eternal, and that the injunction of Allah are accessible to rational thought and inquiry. Influenced by this school, the learned and wise men of your realm have become more productive in their scientific pursuits. Well, that's something I should have done. Ooh, I can hold a tournament once I have 200 gold. Man, I should have looked here earlier. It's pretty cool stuff we can do over here. I don't want to waste more gold here. Don't want to go on a Hajj yet. Do you want to go on a Hajj, though? Did it in Ramadan? So that's going to end in, wow, five years. Ooh, it's pretty good. It's a good buff. Good little perk. Oh, it'd be good if I wasn't paused, right? Nothing really to upgrade there. Militarily. How about my mercenary? Where they are on contract. Oh, wow. Look at Tamar. Ain't he looking cool? Oh, and he died. <laughs> now Gambin goes. He's weak. I've noticed that Fudi and Yasboy are not on the best of terms. Family first. He's of the Sunni heresy. Great time together. Oh, I know they like each other more. Okay. Um, war camp built. Good, we're having all of our prestige things being built. Is she not? She is building my legend. Don't need to settle anywhere, nope. That would increase my domain size. And that's okay. We need to bring up the organization here. Ooh. Hey, they passed. I'm getting one step closer to becoming futile here, and it appears that I've gone over my time by just a little bit, so we will end it here. A very fun playthrough right now. I think Hodge will be coming soon, probably after we set up feudalism in the kingdom so that I can start to earn my keep here in Gao. Ooh, Morentia. They are... Oh no, what the hell's going on here? Okay. Is this a merchant republic? It is. You suck. Doge Daggio is not independent in his liege. And I don't have a valid Cassus Belli. That's not good. How have we stood for this? What are we doing as a Muslim world that we allow Pisa to take over this much land? Look at all those ports they have. They're just going to turn this into greedy Italians. Anyways, well, with that shock, and of course... Why does it say France? He's the king of Galicia. Because he's a tributary of King Philippe. Okay. Big blue blob being a bit sneaky there. Although it looks like they're having a, uh, a rebellion there. Isn't that neat? Well, that'd be the time to strike. Too bad there's no one up there. Well, it looks like we're going to lose Iberia. Anyways. Anyways, on we go. So thank you for watching this episode of the Kingdom of Mali and our Mega Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button, leave a comment below, share around. And if this is your first time here, thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Please feel free to click on that red subscribe button. Let's me know that I'm doing a great job. You want to see more Grand Strategy games from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone. Good night and good luck.